Hi everyone, welcome to the crappiest YouTube channel on earth. I'm just watching how's everyone doing today. So, I'm uh, 22 years old now. Um, I had a pretty alright birthday. I've only been out to an antiques place. I think, yeah, been to two different antiques um, antique shops. They were pretty alright, I guess. Um, so yeah, this is what I've got for my birthday. A bunch of knockoff Rubik's Cubes and Puzzles. A multi-tool thing that looks like a SNES controller. A new leather jacket. A new hair dryer. Forrest Gump DVD. Wing Fed Adventure. Nintendo Labo. Those are the those are the kind of things I got for my birthday. Some of them I I've uh, bought online. Um I think most of them I bought online. And also something that I've been wanting to get for a really long time. A brand new laptop. HP is a HP Pavilion uh, 14 inch screen I believe and it flips all the way back and has a touch screen I have no idea how long the battery lasts but um, it seems to last for, it lasts for um, quite a while so I think that's alright so let's move on to the fun stuff the movies I've got for my birthday Basket Case um, I've um, seen the trailers and clips of this film from years ago. Um, yeah, pretty interesting. I like it. I was also supposed to get a limited edition version of this. Uh, I don't know, I think it's like a similar kind of blue way to this, but it comes with like a slip cover. But I got a special edition one instead. I think it's all right. Yeah, put on my film. I like it. Ivan's Ecstasy. I have no idea what this one's going to be about. Um, yet again, special edition. I like it. Well, I mean, damn it. Never seen it. Never seen it before, but I'll probably try and watch it at some point. Zombie for Sale. A uh, Korean movie, I believe. Never seen it. Never seen it before. I mean, it's wrong with me today. Yeah. Never seen this movie before, but sure it does look in pretty interesting. Yeah. Also, it comes with a really nice, lovely slip cover. So, that's good. Jesus shows you the way to the highway. Um, it's really bloody weird one. Uh, it's limited to a limited edition, so that's good. I think it does tell you, it does tell you like how many copies it's limited to, about 2,000 copies. And it also comes with this other movie called um, Crumbs, so it's pretty white. And I think this one does come with like a, a book and a poster as well, so I'm just gonna quickly check. Ah. Let's see, that looks like a book. Yeah. A double-sided poster and a book as well. So that's nice. White Fire. I have never heard of this film until I got it. Um, it's kind of alright, I guess. I don't know. I'll probably have to watch it again. Cause it's like it's like it's a really um. How do I describe it now? Like a like a super low budget '80s explo exploitation film. Yeah, that's how I would describe it. Yeah, pretty interesting. Also, really nice slip cover as well. I'm not sure if the camera is going to be able to pick it up, but it's like, it's like, yeah, it's like where it's all red and bloody. It's like, it's like the where it's all red. It's like when it with the red title and the red blood stains on the chainsaws and one of those, yeah, chainsaws and machetes and guns. It's like it's very reflective. Yeah, really nice slip cover. And one of my favorite movies now, Pitch Black, starring Vin Diesel. I don't think I've seen any other Vin Diesel movies, so I'll probably have to check them out. I think he's in a Fast and Furious, so I'll probably have to start watching those movies at some point, but I'm not too sure. Yep, Pitch Black. I only got the standard Blu-ray one, because you know I don't have a 4K player yet. Um, yeah, pretty good film. I like it. <laughs> yeah, comes with a really nice slip cover. It's sort of a kind of reflective slip cover. So like it's really oh how do I describe it? It's sticky, smooth. It's like a similar to um, the one Miss Cold trilogy uh, movies I have back there. Um, right, so Flash Gordon. Haven't uh, s I did see Flash. I used to. I used. Um, damn it! I did watch Flash Gordon, Gordon before, but I feel like I probably have to start watching it again because it does look really interesting. Yeah. Box set comes with a book that I'll never read. Comes with a poster that I'll probably just hang up on my wall. Comes with a, it's a limited edition box set, and I believe there's also a 4K one as well. 
But you know, I just had to go as Dan did. Blu-ray. Two movies for my two favourite directors now. Graveyards of Honor. Two films by Kinji Fukasaku and Takeshi Miike. And this really nice, lovely box set. Comes with a book as well. And that nice, lovely factory smell of the boxes. Probably have to start watching these at some point. Now, I think that's most of the other video movies I have on my birthday. Except for this one, but we're gonna save this bad boy for later. Oh, a uh, couple of new movies I've I bought recently. Um... Uh, Tamiana T. Rex starring Paul Walker and Dennis Richards. Yeah, never really heard about this film. And also, this is another boutique label. I'm gonna call these boutique labels like Abba Video, Criterion Collection, Eureka, Vin um, Vinegar Syndrome. Yeah, this one's from uh, Vinegar Syndrome, which I've never heard of before until I got these movies. Tamiana T. Rex, pretty alright film. It's also. I also have to get this in a slip with a slip cover because I mean look at this. It's like I'm not sure the camera's gonna pick this up, but um if you can see them move, can you see them? I'm not sure if you can actually see them. But it looks like you can. Yeah, it's also like um it has like three cardboard stick out, like if I just point this in a white right direction. Yeah, it's like it's kind of 3D. Uh, Tommy and T-Rex, pretty interesting film. I like it. Yeah. So that's Tommy and T-Rex. And also, one of the most expensive movies I've ever bought, and one of the most, most enjoyable, WAD, 1986. Really bloody good film. And again, same lenticular cover. I think that's what it's called, lenticular. This is also one of the first 4K Blu-rays I bought. And luckily it did also came with a Blu-ray disc, so that's nice. I finally decided to get this movie because this is... Oh, just excuse me a sec. Oh, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, the reason why I decided to get this is because there's this song in there called um, Break the Ice by... I think John Farnham. I think I should tell you there. Yeah, because I know because I know the singer's name is definitely... Uh, John Farnham. I just type a rad or break the ice. Should be on there. Uh, on uh, YouTube. Yeah, really bloody good film. It also comes with a poster as well, so that's nice. And it's honestly one of the most expensive movies I've ever bought. About about like ninety pounds on eBay. I bought uh, I bought it yeah. Damn it. I bought it for about ninety pounds on eBay and it's it's like one of the cheapest ones I could find because the others were going up to about pff, for like a hundred fifty pounds, yeah. Wad nineteen eighty six. I like it. So I'll hopefully be getting more movies from Vinegar Syndrome because they do have a pretty interesting looking uh, catalogue of different films. Right now, the most expensive box that I've ever bought. Great. Uh, Gamma, the complete collection. Uh, Twelve movies, I believe, and there's I think there's like four, also four comic books in here. Yeah. The most expensive box that I've ever bought. Um, I don't know, but I don't know, like, doesn't it come with, like, a poster? Because I can't remember if mine came with posters. Um, mine definitely came with, like, the cards and the Blu-ray discs and the comic books in there. So that's nice. So I guess it's not too bad. And I have to buy this thing from CEX, like, from online CEX for about £200. So this makes it the most expensive box that I have in my collection so far. Like, look at it. It's huge. It's also the cheapest one I could find because the others would go up to about over 200 or over 300 or 400 pounds. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm definitely keeping this thing. I've also been uh, checking on our video and they literally just announced that they'll also be releasing a standard version of Gamma, the complete collection with a Gamma trilogy on steelbook Andrew, I'll probably have to, I'll probably have to uh, dive into this at some point so that should be everything and I think I might, might as well put this so let's see so with Forrest Gump where Tammy and the T-Rex and a bunch of other movies that should be about 491 different films in my collection now yeah 491 movies lovely so that's everything I got for my birthday
Yeah. I'm going to quickly check if I... Yeah, oh yeah, and I literally just forgot about these. <laughs> Brand new pair of headphones. And a new Xbox controller. It's just so I could talk to one of my friends on uh, Xbox if I'm not playing on a PC. So, yeah, that should be um, everything. So, I hope you enjoy my um, rambling. Yeah, I hope you like this video. Uh, I don't know, subscribe or do whatever you want. And, um... Goodbye.